Okay, one of the things we're doing today is we're clearing out a bit of storm damage. We've taken this one off the um off the stump, but it's hung up. We can't get any machinery in to actually winch the thing out. So what we're having to do is section it into smaller bits, winch it down, section it. Now the issue with it with a tree hung up like this is how the energy is actually distributed in the stem. At the top of the stem, you have compression. At the bottom of the stem, you have tension. The top wants to crush, the bottom wants to come apart. Now, if you start cutting from the top, what's going to happen is, as you work your way down, it will compress and it will pinch the bar, and you're not getting that bar out no matter how hard you pull. So what you're supposed to do is you cut from the bottom. That's extraordinarily hard work, plus if you've got branches in the way, um, if you if you if you're unsteady on, um, if, it's on if, it's, if it's not very safe underfoot, when it often isn't with storm damaged trees, then cutting straight up from the bottom is extremely difficult to do, it's very tiring. So what you do is you do a J-cut, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm going to start the cut at the top. I'm then going to start cutting down. I'm then going to plunge in through the stem. I'm then going to finish cutting at the bottom. And then I'll stop and I'll talk to you again. left part of the actual stem at the top and that's holding the tree together it's stopping the tree collapsing so i can now finish this cut and keep the tree under control as i do so the last thing i need is to come up from the top and have the whole thing suddenly go at once because you don't know what's going to happen with it now you can't see this but as i came down and went in i've left about that much of the stem connected it's flexed but it's still holding on i'm now going to finish cutting that from the bottom That is how you actually section down a tree, keeping it under control, stopping all the energy being, being released at once. Now, if I take the camera and I move around, let's see if we can see where I did my cuts. Now, you can see that I cut down here, and then you can see where I plunged through the tree, and then I went down. And this was the bit I left holding, and then I came back when I finished that. That's how you safely section out a tree. I'm now going to show you the same cut from the side, so you can actually see the motion that the saw goes through. safest way to deal with a hung up tree that has a lot of energy stored in it. Stay safe.